somewhere down past the Marshall Island, somewhere down in there, headed towards Palau, uh, the skipper came to me and said, I want you to fly a mission, a message, down to Green Island, secret message. I assume what the I never did hear, but I assume the message was to notify the Marine base there that that we were on our way to combat in the Palau Islands. So here, this is 600 miles from the ship down to Green Island, and this, you know I never really had any long missions over the water at all, and our navigation in those days consisted of dead reckoning navigation. You had to know the speed of the wind and the direction of the wind was coming from, which was easy to figure out the way the waves break into the wind and so on. And uh, you had to take into consideration your magnetic headings and on your on your compasses. But I was, you know, I was a little shaken. Uh, that's a heck of a long ways on an overwater flight, nothing between there but a little island. <laughs> so I took off and. Uh, Fortunately, I found the island, all right. As, as I made the approach, all I could see was a little strip down through the trees. And after I landed, I looked around, and under every tree was a Corsair. This was a marine base that they operated from. So I delivered my message. They gassed me up, and I turned around immediately and headed back to the carrier because I wanted to be back before dark if possible. And uh, people always say, well, boy, I said, how do you find a carrier out there in the middle of the ocean? What they forget is a task force covers about 25 to 50 square miles with all the ships, so you can hardly miss. So I didn't worry too much about finding the group of ships on the way back. And right at dark, I, I got back, found the carrier, and landed. So uh, after that, I really had no fear of long flights over the water because I knew I could do it. 